Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your Friday morning out with us. I'm Jenna Stauffer alongside Tom Oosterhout. Oh, Good so morning. wonderful to be with you bright and early this Friday morning. It is bright and early. The, the sun is fall. shining. I think spring's in the air. What do you think? <laughs> it is here. I think it's I officially think it spring, too, mm -hmm. right? Well, not to March 21st. Oh, close enough. We're close. We're close. <laughs> well, it feels like spring here. That's spring has sure. sprung and the grass is red. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what really made my Friday morning, Tom? was picking up your issue of Con Color and seeing this stud on a motorcycle. <laughs> you know, I'm probably the only publication in the world that has the Archbishop riding a Harley. Uh -huh. But our Archbishop loves riding his Harley. And he's so cool. You know, one of the things I love about Archbishop Winsky, well, you know, he, he oversees 1.5 million Catholics in South Florida, uh -huh. Broward, Dade, and Monroe County. I mean, he's... That's a bit, lot of people, Absolutely. but uh, anyway. But he reaches out to diversity. He loves the Haitian community. He loves the Hispanic community. He speaks seven languages. Really? And, uh, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. But, seven languages. Yes, mm -hmm. but you know, this is the second time he did a couple of years ago for me. Right, as Harley down to Key West, and mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, he was felt like he was a little heavy, so he went on a diet. He lost sixty pounds, good and voila, him. a new skinny. Archbishop, how yeah, about he that? Looks great, and so that is really his Harley. You didn't that have him no. just pose for the It's photo. his Harley is Street Glide. He's had mm -hmm. it for years now, mm -hmm. and uh, and he rides that down to Key West. From yeah, Miami, or? we give him an excuse to ride it. Mm -hmm. They had to look around the diocese to find somebody who could ride with him up and back. You know, because he he didn't like having a car following him. So uh, oh, okay. you know that with his people. So uh, mm -hmm. anyway, so he's now got a fellow Harley rider. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's a nun though. <laughs> and uh, so, <laughs> you never know. You never know in this day and time. <laughs> the the uh, the flying nun. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and so you had a great spread on all of St. Mary's. Then, yeah. Right? Now we had a lot of activities. Uh, we had the Red Mass, which has all the judges and local attorneys each year, mm -hmm. and it's the one time a year actually all the judges get together because you know the judges go from one end of the keys to the other but mm -hmm. they all come together for this red mass so that's pretty cool and then we had the uh, sacrament of confirmation was administered by this bishop and we got all the coverage here in calm color now we i was talking to the bishop you know the topic of the day was the who's going to be the new pope mm -hmm. and now we know that it's pope francis mm -hmm. and i love the fact that pope francis is a the first pope in the in history from South America. He's from Argentina, but also he's um, an another uh, prelate who reaches out to diversity. He really, really loves, you know, all the people. Mm -hmm. And apparently that's signified in his name, St. Francis. Okay, interesting. You know, because St. Francis reached out to everybody. Mm -hmm. And he really worries about the poor people. That's this big bum, 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 mm -hmm. big cause of the Libra. And, uh, Anyway, so we're all hooked up with the Catholics right now, and uh, but uh, we've got our own fabulous Archbishop on his motorcycle, and mm -hmm. he's skinny. Uh, he lost 60 pounds, so well, how about him. that? He looks great. Now, the other thing we had going on for this past week, Jenna, and you were there too, was mm -hmm. the American Cancer Society Ball. Mm -hmm. and I 100th think our, anniversary. 100th anniversary. Oh, my Very God. Very exciting. They had a fabulous fabulous event and what great a turnout, turnout huh mm -hmm. great turnout and everybody dressed up including mm -hmm. you you look so fabulous and you in your purple <laughs> no well, that was you know carrie uh, hellison asked me to wear purple because she said that's the theme of hope for the cancer patients and mm -hmm. uh, so when i got there they had purple uh, tablecloths, purple mm -hmm. this, purple that. I'm like, well, I guess I, she was serious <laughs> about the purple thing. You but, gave people hope, too, mm -hmm. Tom. Oh, <laughs> well, I hope so. Better to give them hope than something else. And uh, <laughs> Anyway, but uh, she was so happy. I've talked to her the last couple of days since the ball, mm -hmm. and she was just thrilled. Right? Mm -hmm. She thought everything went fine. So. Yeah, I think they reached their goal, too, so that's always, yes. always great news. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the Blonde Mafia was out in force <laughs> that night, and it, we had a lot of fun, a that's lot of fun. Right. Well, we're going to talk at the end of today's show about everything that is happening this upcoming weekend and week. I know there's a lot going on, Tom. Oh, you always, always. So start thinking now. We're going to take a quick break right now, but don't go away. There is much more to come this morning.